So I'm gonna walk through what I like to call a five step process. So I'm gonna give you a process for converting a lead to a sell in five steps. I'm also gonna give you my five-step process for breaking down an actual telesales call, right? So the five-step process. So first, you've got to have some type of leads or live transfers, right? That's the big thing. Uh, we work with a lot of massive call centers, telesales organizations, and they, they believe in a constant lead flow, which is why our leads work extremely well for anyone that wants to sell over the phone. New leads, age leads, all of them, and they do extremely, extremely, extremely well. So that's why, but you gotta have a, you gotta have a flow, right? You gotta have consistent people coming in daily that you can talk to, which brings us to our next point, which so that you can talk to and have what I like to call conversations, right? Telesales is a conversation game. It's an activity game, calls, speaking to people, talk time, like the activity has to flow. That's where you have those meaningful conversations. And when I say conversations, it takes some time to make a telesale, right? I've never made a telesale in under 30 minutes. Most people think, oh, I can, I can sell over the phone and I'm only gonna have to literally talk to someone for like 10 minutes and then it's, it's done. They're like, you know, the, the, it's an easy sell. That's not always the case. It's not always true. So that's why when I, most of my conversations in telesales were in excess of 40, 50 minutes, sometimes an hour, sometimes an hour and a half for full completion. That's where those quality conversations come in. And if you're watching this, make sure you're taking some notes today because we get asked about this a lot. The next thing is a system and a script, right? Because you want to have a system and a script that works. That's why my old Mastering Insurance Telesales course at CodyAskins.com, it's on sale for like, I don't know, 100 bucks, a couple hundred bucks, whatever. It is on, what's up? It's on CodyAskins.com under the training portion of our website. We got a lot of courses and my old, I say old because I did it like a year and a half ago when I built this course called Mastering Insurance Telesales. It's still there, it's cheap, but it's still really applicable to this and teleselling and actually converting leads, live transfers, whatever, using a script into clients for your business. So you need a script and a system to plug into because you don't want to just jump on the phone and not know what to say. Say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, not know what to do because most people don't. Most people, the reason they don't, they don't make money when they buy leads, whether they're trying to convert them face to face or over the phone is because they do not know what to do and what to say. That's why a system and a script, if you can plug into one and find one, it helps a ton. Next thing is, the, the script, the call is all about building relationship, building value, and actually closing business on the very first call. That's why I talk about me taking 40, 50, 60 minutes at a time with someone. And I'm just giving you high level overview of how, if you want to sell over the phone, how it would work, right? Relationship. The relationship is huge. I'm telling you, when it comes to phone sales, the relationship piece is the number one most important part. That's the part that most agents forget. Most agents forget it face to face. It's even more important over the phone. Warming up, having an amazing relationship, it's imperative to being great at using this and, and being successful at selling over the phone. Relationship is huge, right? The relationship's gotta be there. Value, the value has to be, that's why you always, you guys always see when I do when I do these courses and live trainings and shows, and even my presentation, I'm all about building up, building up the benefits and the value of what we have to offer. Because if you have a great relationship with them, right, and you've warmed them up, you've took your time, 45, 50 minutes an hour, right? Value, the value's there, you're building it as Maddie Beats joined us on IG, what's up bro? Value, right, the value has to be there. You gotta stack the value too. That's why you always say with people, people, people that are selling stuff, they stack the value. Insurance agents, face to face, over the phone, whatever, stack that value. And then when the time comes, you get to the close. And with the close, I'm using, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm using either or, or I'm using the three options closes, right? So either two options or three options, depending on the person 
what they're wanting, what do you do and what do you to say. If you're not watching from the side angle today on IG, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Cody.Askins, and that you watch on Instagram as well. We got a multifaceted going crazy today. Relationship is huge. They have to see the value. The value, you got to stack it. Like it's got to feel so right. And the close has got to feel seamless and simple. That's where a good script and a good process and a good system can really come in. And then you've got to be able to move seamless right into the application process, right? Excellent. Great choice. You know what I mean? After they've chose, right? Let's see if we can get you approved. What's your full legal name, right? You got to slow, you got to, you got to professionally and smoothly roll through this process to where you're actually filling out an application and trying to get them approved with a phone interview. So that's where this five-step telesales process comes in. That's for the overall process of converting a lead to a sale. All right, so you want to transition from field sales to telesales. It's a super popular topic right now that I need to talk about because a lot of people are reaching out asking a ton of questions constantly. So stay with me, watch through this entire video about 10, 11, 12 minutes on specifically what you can do to make money today, now, coming from field sales straight to tell sales. So I'm gonna walk through several different steps of what you need to think about and what you should do. Also, in the description below, you'll see a new Telesales Mastery membership. It's already got over 100 members that you can actually go in the description and click to join right away, okay? And it's got tons of videos, scripts, everything else, recordings of sales that you need to listen to to actually accomplish this even better, all right? So I'm gonna go through a few steps that you need to immediately use, all right? So just like when you were working in the field, you still need lead flow, okay? So very similar, you need lead flow to actually take you from, because I mean, it, lead flow works for you in the field. Right? True or false? It worked for you in the field. If it worked for you in the field, it can work for you in phone sales as well and tell sales as well. So if you had a lead flow in the field, you need a lead flow again. All right? So you need a lead flow. And maybe the lead flow is different. Maybe it's not the exact same. Maybe it's more digital marketing, internet leads, etc. However, you need lead flow. You need it consistently. We've got discounts on live leads, live transfers, and marketing services, discounts on all that in our membership again in the description, the link is below, okay? So lead flow. After lead flow, after lead flow, you need, you need some way to actually dial them. And the reason I bring that up, and we're, put, we're adding some di dial, dialer discounts to the membership as well, but the reason I bring that up is, the big thing is you don't have to actually use a dialer if you don't want to. You can still dial by hand with your cell phone if that's what you would like to do. You can easily do it that way. Most people don't realize that that's the case. I mean, I personally know call centers that I'm friends with that will have a couple agents this month that'll do 40, 50 grand this month from simply hand dialing leads, okay? So you can 100% do that, all right? When you're dialing them, the goal and the point is that you actually need to, you need to actually get a hold of them. Okay, you need to actually get a hold of them. You need to talk to them. They need to answer the phone. And so, yeah, you can be persistent by actually following up and following my follow-up process when it comes to actually calling leads. Whether that be, right, because I always recommend six calls in 72 hours. I also recommend a 12-touch process, which I've went over before and went over quite a bit. Most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, I've got 1,500, 2,000 videos on here, okay, on YouTube. Also, you, you can actually get to where you can, you know, you can change your phone number so that you can actually dial from a different number. You could also get to where you even double or triple dial. That's where you dial. Goes to voicemail, they don't answer, you immediately dial back. That can increase your answer rate, all right? You get a hold of them. The fourth one, just like with field, okay, just like with field, you want to establish control and then qualify them, right? So you want to establish control. This is the entire process, right? From, from going from field sales straight into phone sales and selling over the phone, okay? So control and qualify. That means within the first, within the first three minutes, you need to actually establish control, get a hold of them, and then pre-qualify them in 
or out so that you can continue to talk to them. Most people forget this piece. It's important. I got a ton of videos on this in the membership as well. Okay, so make sure you check that out. Uh, again, controlling and qualifying because most people don't realize you got to get in control. When you're calling someone and you're getting them on the phone, I forgot to pull this out earlier. When you're getting them on the phone, you got to immediately, immediately establish control. If you're not in control, they're in control. Okay, what's unique about asking questions is when I ask you a question, it's human nature to do what? It's human nature to ask it, which is why insurance agents that are using the phone should ask a lot more questions along the way. Okay, so not only should you ask questions, not only should you try to get in control immediately, but you should do everything that you can to get their attention. Most people don't realize, and Harvard, Harvard says five seconds, the first five seconds are important. I know that the first 60 seconds, five seconds, 60 seconds, and three minutes are always super important when you're talking about getting a hold of someone, establishing control, and then qualifying them, whether that be, depending on the product, you may be qualifying them for what they currently have, the, the, their current health situation, and making sure that they, if, if, you're only, if you're only selling people to have a bank account and you don't want Direct Express or Direct Bill or any of those other things, and you only want to pay for or credit cards, you only want to work with people that have a checking account, which a lot of call centers work that way, that's good, that's great, but you don't want to spend 45 minutes with them if they don't have one, right? So you want to qualify them out. That's important. That's kind of common sense, but most people don't realize that because they're used to filled cells, right? So this is normal. I'm with you, okay? Control and qualify, all right? The next thing is after that, you know, you need to simply build rapport, build rapport, fact find, and then present and close, right? So this is the whole gamut to where you literally take some time and just like just like face-to-face -face cells or filled cells, you've got to be able to get to where, I should have not had so much spacing up here. I'm running out of space on the bottom of the board. I, I, that's, that happens to me a lot, okay? So, so get to where you're building rapport, you're fact-finding, you're building value, you're, 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 you're pre-closing or trial closing, you're presenting value, benefits, all that, product carrier, et cetera, you, yourself. And then you're closing, you know, and then you're offering options and you're asking for the business. I go, I go in on this extensively in our membership and we're continuing to add things to that membership every single day. Again, the links in the bio below. Okay. So if you think about field to telesales, your current model, what you're currently doing, this doesn't differ that much. Cause if you think about it real quick, okay, you, you, you're used to lead flow. You're used to dialing them, you're used to getting a hold of them, but you're used to the next step being actually setting an appointment to go out and sit with them. But when you sit with them, it ain't that much difference. Okay, when you sit with them, you're building rapport. Now this is maybe, this is different, right? But when you, when you do sit with them, you're building rapport, you're fact finding, you're presenting and you're closing. So you're doing the same thing, but you're doing it over the phone, but you're typically slowing down because the average cell, okay? I mean, think about what your average cell is for field. It's probably, what, 45 to 60 minutes, sometimes 90 minutes or two hours, right? Sometimes longer, okay? There's no different, right? Telesales, your average sales should be 45 to 60 minutes. It's going to take some time, you know? And, and when you do that, it's not going to be an immediate sell. Most people jump from field to phone thinking, okay, because I've got this thing and I can qualify quicker and I can ask questions, I can be direct and I can ask if they want to buy we end up thinking it's going to be quicker and simpler and easier. In fact, actually getting them to buy on the phone is a little harder than face to face naturally, okay? Because they got to know, like, and trust you, and they may not know, like, and trust you because they don't know you yet, okay? So that's where building rapport and taking some time is big because again, they need to know, like, and trust, okay? For them to pull the trigger on whatever options you present. Most agents are forgetting that. Not only is it tougher, but it, it, it's not quicker because you've got to establish all these things on the phone that you're used to doing in a home that you haven't done yet over the phone. Okay, so think through that, right? Lead flow, consistent. When we talk about lead flow, again, you're going to need, I mean, when agents are calling leads, they're probably averaging, you know, 5% closing rate for those that are curious, you know, so it's going to take some leads, all right? If you want five deals, you're going to have to, you know, you may have to work age leads and a combination of aged and new leads. I recommend that. Okay. Because you want to, you want to talk, you want to have about, as far as getting a hold of them, you want to have about eight good convos per day. 
you know, you would have about eight good conversations per day. Presentations, what we call it. To where, okay, I, I qualified them out and I'm having a decent conversation with them. And you want that to, to, ha to happen about, um, about a third, about 20 to 30% of the time of people that you get a hold of. Okay, and that's normal, that's natural, okay? So when you dial them, get a hold of them, all right? Persistence, most insurance, there's stats that say that most insurance agents do not dial more than zero, one, or two times on a new lead. But studies tell us that when you go six calls, you have a 90% chance of contact. Studies tell us if you use different phone numbers, it helps. Studies tell us if you dial different times of the day, it helps. Studies tell us if you actually try versus those that don't, you're gonna see better results. Funny how that works, right? It isn't rocket science. Most insurance agents are lazy. That's why, that's a big reason why 92% of insurance agents fail. Okay, but there's more millionaires in this industry than any other industry in the world, so it's phenomenal. You're in the right place, you're in the right vehicle. Okay, from field sales to telesales, lead flow, dial them, get a hold of them, control and qualify, and then go through the normal appointment process, okay? Now, if you're like, this is overwhelming, I don't know what to do, there's a lot of information, and I would like to have access to resources, scripts, audio recordings, video library, training, technology, leads and marketing, discounts, wh where to buy live transfers, um, all the process for FE, all the process for Medicare, all the process for all the products, uh, carriers I should use, and information about that. You know, and I want a strategy call with Cody, right? Members get those things, all right? So I got a new Telesales Mastery membership. Check out the description below, click the link, and join the membership today. I wanna help you, and I want you to join that thing. Thanks for watching, Field to Tell. Hey, most insurance agents really struggle with phone sales. Actually taking someone that has interest in talking to you about a specific product or service and then converting that telephonically all over the phone. I'm gonna give you five things that every insurance agent needs to be great at phone sales. The absolute five things that you need to incorporate into your business to be successful with phone sales sales, all right? I've also got a, we're also having a free telesales training webinar tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. I'll put the link below. You can register. It's totally free, all right? So I'm going to go over five different things that every insurance agent needs when it comes to phone sales and why specifically that thing is important, all right? So the first thing is you need to have training. Every insurance agent needs to know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, why to do it, where to do it, exactly all the details when it comes to training and becomes, when it comes to closing business and when it comes to converting someone from hello to thank you for your business, right? When it comes to training, you need videos, you need scripts, you need specifically how to overcome objections. You need to know what the total sales process is. When it comes to training, you need everything related to actually converting someone into a sale. Right now, everyone needs to start to learn and incorporate more skill level when it comes to converting people over the phone. All right, I've been selling over the phone for years. Absolutely love it, okay? I, I opened a call center years ago from scratch with no phone sales experience. And I was able to, over the next few months, get up to about 40 sales per month, all right? Not too long ago, a few years ago, I was actually able to convert about 60 grand over the course of four or five weeks all over the phone and I documented that journey. I love the phone, I'm passionate about the phone, and I know that a lot of insurance agents can be successful over the phone if, if you have the right training materials, okay? The next portion is the actual resources, all right? What type of resources do you need? What, what do you need to know when it comes to those scripts, all right? What, 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 are you using live transfers? Are you using leads? What are you saying in the intro of that specific type of call as all of them will vary? Also, what does it look like from a sales standpoint, from a process standpoint, when you take a live transfer and you're rolling through the first three minutes of a call, which are extremely super important, okay? Harvard says that the first four seconds of a phone call is powerful and super valuable and important to get someone's attention in those first four seconds. I also believe that the first 60 seconds are paramount when it comes to converting people into sell. And I'm gonna to be touching on all these things in tomorrow's free 
telesales training webinar, telesales master webinar, totally free, put the link below, okay? When it comes to resources, everything that you need to know, what do you need to know, and what exactly do you need to have in your repertoire that you can literally pull out of your tool bag and use it to convert people over the phone? Hey, it's not, it's not that phone sales is that much different than face-to-face, -face, but it definitely has its differences, has its similarities, but what I'm, at the end, I'm gonna share with you what can separate you from the average agent out there that is felling out of the business and that can't convert people over the phone. All right, so the next one's resources, okay? Third, what's the third one? The third one has to do with marketing. What, what options do you have when it comes to leads? All right, what type of leads should you be working? What, is all this, what, what does all this pertain to? What does that look like when it comes to, hey, I'm, hey, hey, I'm, hey I've, I've got leads, or maybe I'm doing marketing services, whether it be Google AdWords, Facebook ad management, YouTube leads, which we're doing a lot of now, okay? Or whether it be actually building out a YouTube channel for prospects to then go reach out to you through your website or your landing page, become a lead or even call in, right? So, so when it comes to marketing, what are the top call centers in the country doing that I have such a great relationship with? I'm gonna share all that on tomorrow's free webinar as well, okay? Also, also, when it comes to marketing and leads, we, I've created a, and I'm gonna link it below as well, I've created a Telesales Mastery Membership that I'm gonna waive the, 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 the joining fee for the first 100 members, okay? So make sure that you click the link below and I'll waive that so that you can get in that, okay? So when it comes to leads, marketing service, what else, right? What, what type of live transfers should you be working or should you be working them? I'm gonna make sure that in that membership, not only do we have a discount on full state telesales leads, also have a discount on any marketing service related, also a discount with preferred vendors when it actually comes to live transfers. Everything that you're gonna need, I'm not only gonna cover it on the free webinar, but I'm also gonna give you access to everything that I know, all the relationship that I have, and everything that you can have access to when you become a this telesales, part of this Telesales Mastery membership. Again, I'm gonna waive the $297 joining fee for the first 100 members, okay? And then it's simply $97 a month. I wanna make this accessible for anyone because these five things, it's good to have them, but if you don't have access to somewhere that can make you better and that you can learn, most people are struggling because they have the wrong information. What I've learned a long time ago is when I have the right information, I have a higher chance of actually being successful, okay? So marketing. What type of marketing are you doing? What, what, what type of automation and follow-up could we be doing together? Because that's some of the things I consult on and teach on in our, in our Security Marketing and Security Leads company does this for people, where you could actually have a thank you page with a video, you talking and a, and a button to link to your calendar to immediately encourage them to go and book a free strategy session or a consultation or a quick call or a strategy call on your schedule, okay? We're seeing as high as 30, 40% actually going and filling out a request to talk to you right away and actually automating all of that so that you can walk into a complete full calendar of appointments and people that are interested and you're not having to do as much, some, but not as much outbound dialing because you have all these things set up, okay? So I want you to think about that, all right? After marketing, after marketing, something else is extremely important when it comes to telesales is technology, all right? Not only, I'm not gonna talk about this in tomorrow's free webinar, but I'm also in this telesales mastery membership that you can get in right now for the first 100 people I'm waiving the joining fee. I'm adding specific discounts when it comes to headsets, when it comes to a dialer, when it comes to a CRM, anything technology-wise that you would need to, when it comes to what type of calendar software should be using to get automated appointments through your calendar. Everything, when it comes to technology, these technology pieces are super important because you need someone with that, when you're getting leads, you can call through them. You can create a pipeline, a funnel. You can have these leads in different stages. You can close them, they can become a client, and then they, or, or even after, even, even upon lead submission, they're getting automated emails and texts from you so that you can actually convert them easier, okay? Everything when it comes to technology, I'm gonna only address that, but in the membership, I'm gonna give you discounts for everything that, uh, because, because of my network now, I have a lot of amazing relationships with people that I can give 
dialers and CRMs and everything else at a discounted rate simply because of the volume and the amount of attention we have and the amount of following we have now, thankfully, because all you like the content, right? So we want to be able to give back and be able to give those to you at a discounted rate. Technology is super important when it comes to phone sales, it comes to telesales. The technology you're using can be the big separator between success and failure, okay? I really believe that. Also, what's next? The fifth one. What am I missing? Well, you need actual products and carriers, which carriers are popular when when it comes to phone sales. Do they have a do they have an electronic app process? Do they have a voice signature process? What type of process do you want and what's everything that you need when it comes to actually choosing the right carriers? Do you need one carrier? Do you need 3? Do you need 5? Do you need do you need 50? What type of carriers do you need when it comes to phone sales so that you can make this easy and simple? Because the more questions you have, new people struggle with two things. Every new salesperson struggles with two things. Not knowing what to do. Well, I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay. And then struggling with what, what to use. Okay. So I want to take out, we're literally, we want to take out all the guesswork. I want to get rid of all the guesswork when it comes to actually getting great at phone sales and becoming a master of phone sales. Right now is a perfect time for you to learn phone sales and become amazing at it. So we're going to literally, the new membership covers all five of these things, all right? And these are the five things you get to figure out right now for you to get good at phone sales. Training, where are you getting your training and where is it available? Resources, what resources do you have? And where are they available? What type of marketing services are you doing? What type of marketing inbound, outbound, or leads are you doing to where you can consistently have a system that produces results every single week? Where's the technology? What type of technology is best to use for phone sales? Because it differs from face-to-face. -face. And what type of carriers are available and that are best for actually converting individuals over the phone? Okay, so not only do we have a free webinar where I'm going to train you on all these things for free, Saturdays at 10 a.m., Okay, I'm going to link the registration link below. Please make sure you sign up. It's totally free. Also, I'm going to put a link to our Telesales Mastery membership for the first 100 members. I'm going to waive the joining fee of $300. You do not, you do not have to pay the $300 joining fee. I'm going to put the link below. Make sure you click on that so that you can get access to everything you need to know, whether it's training, resources, marketing, technology, and carriers, to be great and to master. Today, I want to talk about five easy phone sales tips that you can implement right away and see success with. Okay, so stay with me as I go through each one of these. All right, number one, number one of five is to gain control early, early in the call. I would say that most agents do not gain control early in the call. And what happens is they end up leaving that up to the prospect. They let the prospect take control. They let the prospect interject. They let the prospect give you an objection. They let the prospect jump in and gain control, overcome the call, etc. Great salespeople gain control early in the call. And what I mean by that is, okay, Betty, hey, it's Cody. Hey, getting back to you about this, okay, now I'm the local field underwriter. You put your security password as this. Hey, I'm assuming you remember doing that, right? Excellent. Well, hey, I'm here to help with these state regulated final expense programs. They put me in charge of your account and I'm gonna give you the information right now. So let me ask you a couple quick questions, okay? And they just jump in. They gain control early in the call. If that's not you, it needs to be and it can be and you need to think about your calls. Even what I love to do is actually record the calls, listen back to them and say, okay, did I gain control of the call? What did I say? How did I say it? And did I say what I need to say? Okay, because that's the best way to learn. So number one, gain control early in the phone call. All right, number two, okay? Number two out of the five easy phone sales tips is I would say don't listen to objections. Okay, you could, you could also consider that ignore. Okay, and I would say that I, it's not like I typically totally ignore them, but for an easy phone sales tip for a new agent, it would be do not listen or give validity to the objection that you're hearing. When they jump in early in the call and say, I'm not interested, or I didn't do it, or I'm broke, or I have no money, or I don't have time, or my, you know, I'm not the decision maker, etc. It's too early in the call to listen to that. 
And when you listen to it, when you respond, when you assume it's true, you give validity to something that may or may not be true yet. So I want to discourage you to giving validity to objections. Ignore them. Don't listen to them. Move past them because it's human nature to give an objection. When you walk into a store, okay, when you walk into a store, they say, hey, how may I help you? Well, I'm just looking, you know, or can I help you? And you say, I'm just looking, I'm just shopping, right? Or not yet, I don't know, right? And then a minute later, I'm like, I'm looking for a, you know, freaking cord. Why didn't I ask them for help? But it's human nature to say, I'm just looking, I'm just shopping, to give objections, okay? So don't listen to objections. And, and if you had to work an objection and, and you believe it's true, then use my three A's to overcoming objections, which is agree, answer, and ask. I was just training my service team this morning at 8.15. I do that every single day, 8.15 to 8.30. And what we've been talking about is being agreeable. When someone says, dude, dude I, you know, I hate your service. Most people get disagreeable, combative. You should be agreeable which is rare and it kind of surprises people when you are. So don't listen to objections, all right? Number three, let's jump right in. Number three is ask questions. That also helps put you in control, okay? Ask questions and then shut up and listen. Most people talk too much on the phone. And the best way to gain control is to have them talking. I know it sounds different, I know it sounds backwards. I make sales when I ask questions and I listen. Okay, when they talk more than I do, I generally make the sell. When I talk more than they do, I typically don't. Okay, so that's backwards for most salespeople and how you're trained and how you're trained as a kid. You don't gain control by puking on them, by talking a lot. You gain control by asking questions and then shutting up and listening. And I'm not saying asking two or three questions and ad-libbing and talking a bunch. I've got, like, I've got salespeople here that do that and salespeople that, I, that we train do that. Salespeople like, coach, do that. But you don't need to do that. You need to ask questions. Then you need to stop and you need to listen and you need to let them respond. And if they say, I don't know, then you need to use, you need, you need to use a hypothetical. So if you say, hey, who do you currently have for your life insurance? If they say, I don't know, you need to immediately jump in and say, well, if you had to choose, okay? Psychologically, you don't want people, you, want, you don't want people not answering your questions. You are, when you allow them to not answer your question, you are telling them it's okay to not answer my question. You don't have to answer my questions anymore and you're in control. Get answers to your questions, okay? By asking questions and then shutting up and listening. This is a valuable phone sales tip because this is what gets most agents in trouble is not stopping, asking questions, regaining control of the call, and then listening to what they say, all right? I'm sure Jordan Belfort would say the same thing. He's speaking at Apex Nation 2020. I'm assuming he would say the same thing, which is, I guarantee he would, okay? Number four. This is a little, this is a little more advanced, okay? As we move down the list, this one's a little more advanced, okay? I would say the last two. Number four, take it away, all right? And, and I didn't promise I'd have the best handwriting in the world, okay? As you're probably noticing. Number four, take it away. What I mean by that is constantly take it away. When you are talking to someone, I'm hoping I can get you approved. You may qualify. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get this, but I'm hoping that you can. Or I've had other people in the past that they really wanted this, but the last person I talked to, they, they begged me for, for it. However, they weren't in good enough health to, to qualify, right? So there's some factors to indicate, like we don't accept everyone, right? If you make it seem that way, it's like you're taking it away from them. And people don't like it when you take stuff away from them. Instead of just saying, hey, everybody qualifies. I want you to, I want to sell you insurance and everybody, and I want you to buy and everybody can do it. Instead, I love to take it away. Hey, you may qualify. Hey, you may be able to get this. You know, I'm not sure, right? I, I'm hoping you'll be able to get this. There are great programs, there are great plans, and I'm a, I'm, I would love for you to be a client of ours. However, I, I'm not sure that you'll be able to get it, right? You, you have to qualify. There's steps to this. And I'm gonna make sure that I explain everything and that I show you everything and that you make an educated, informed decision and that when it comes time, you're prepared and you're ready to make that decision and hopefully we can get you approved because I would, you know, I would love to get everyone approved. However, it's not, it's not always possible. And I know there's people out there that I, I wish I could have helped that we, they also wish I could have helped them, but, but I can't help everybody, right? Take it away. Use some jargon and some language to be able to take it away. And, and professional advanced salespeople know how to take it away, okay? In the middle of a sale, when they ask questions so that they want it even more, okay? 
And it comes down, that also comes down to the value, right? When you're building the benefits and you're going through the value of the benefits and you're getting engagement and you're asking those eight, nine trial closes that we talk about, that's a big piece of that, okay? Is to take it away, right? Number five is to assume every step of the way. Assume the good answer to the phone. Assume you're talking to the right person. Assume that they're gonna allow you to gain control of the call. Assume that they're gonna answer all your questions. Assume that they're gonna be able to afford it. Assume they're gonna pick the middle option when you give them three options. Assume that they're gonna answer every question along the way. Assume that they would love this. Assume that they have the need. Assume they can afford it. Assume they want it. Assume everything. Successful, like, like, cause a successful salesperson that wants to get great at phone selling is not going to ask a question, are you interested in this? That's never gonna come out of your mouth, right? If it is, let's cut it out. Successful professional salespeople instead would say or would ask, I'm assuming that this is of interest to you, which is why you responded. Okay, now let me ask you a couple quick questions to see if we can get you approved, right? That, that, that's a different way of saying the exact same thing. Because what happens is, okay, yes, I want you to ask questions, but this is where the assuming comes in. Professional salespeople tell they, they don't ask, they ask questions, they don't ask for permission though, and they don't ask if someone wants to do it, they tell the person, this is what I recommend, this is why it comes with all these benefits, you're gonna love it, here's the three options, I recommend this one, which one would you prefer? Okay, they keep it simple and they tell, they educate, they build value, they don't ask for permission, or they don't ask, are you gonna do this I'd love for you to do this. Can you do this for me, right? Do you like this, right? They t I'm assuming that you love this, correct? Right, that is being assumptive. That is taking it away and that will get you what you want, okay? So these are the five easy phone sales tips you need to implement right away. Hey, if you like this video, then I guarantee you there's two others that you wanna check out right now, okay? Top five mistakes that new insurance agents make on the phone or the five-step process for converting a lead to a sale. Go check those out and I'll see you there.